um, in this video, I wanted to make an off-roading car dealership. Um, the last dealership video, making a dealership video, um, got a ton of views, like, like, a ton. Over 300, I believe. It passed as my most popular video by over, like, 200 views, and that's a crazy amount. So I decided, um, first of all, don't ask me how I managed to park this Hummer perfectly, but, um, yeah, I, I want to see how, I want to try to make an off-roading car dealership, and I want to see how many views that can get, and let's see if it, if it was just a name, or maybe it was something else that just made it go viral like crazy, but, um, we're going to change it to the, sure, because we're going to change it to this, yeah, yeah, um, so, yeah, you can always get that, I just made a video on that, um, oh wait, are things still parked perfectly, nice, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start off with the cars, because, yeah, the cars are the cars, okay, so, we're doing off-road vehicles, which means I definitely am, do not need to be in this territory. Um. Yep. You knew it was going to be added. But this is off-roading, not necessarily rally. So, I'm going to have to change that. Um. Yeah. By the way, I'm going to be modifying all these vehicles when I'm done with this. So, make sure to stay tuned for that. But, um. Let's see, what should I put in here? I think I'm going to put the, my GMC. Yeah. That thing looks so good. And don't ask me why I have an E86 here. Yep. Um, yeah, I might leave this beetle here for memes. Uh, oh, that was weird. Let's see here. I mean, this is probably a good off-roader, yeah. I'm also going to put the Tesla Cyber Quad. Even though probably 90% of the people watching this hates it. Honestly, terrible vehicle. Barely ever use it. Um, probably not worth a million dollars as a limited. But I got it anyway, um, because it was limited, yeah. So, I'm going to put this here because, yeah, I can. Don't ask me why it's designed so poorly. Um, I'm going to swap my Pagani. I'm going to swap my Pagani with, um, let's see here. Um, we have a few different choices Let's see. hmm I mean that'd be oh yeah I mean like toy Tamakas these things are beasts off-road and then I have an idea of what I want this to be yep okay and then um Ford Bronco right over there um this one Oh yeah. Can't go wrong with the Polaris. And the very last one is um mm, That that Hummer's cheap. Let's see here. I might use my Chevy. Yeah, yeah. Tell me what you guys think of this. Not exactly. Actually, now I'm going to change it to me. It feels too like street. I don't know. Um, just because I can, I'm going to put in this. Where is it? Hmm. 
No, we're not going supercar territory. Um, where is that car? I'll just look it up. Aha. So, yeah. That's gonna be that last one. And then, um, we're gonna change the color of the dealership. So we're gonna go up front for that. There we go. We're gonna go up front for this part. Changing the color is always nice in these things. So, um, first of all, very importantly, we got to change the name from old cars to off-road dealer. Yep. Okay, um, the theme color, I think I'm going to make that. Why is that green so bright? Isn't it supposed to be like a teal? But okay. Um, I want to make this like a dark green. Time it lit in that. Maybe like that green. Why is it so bright? Oh well. Um, it'll probably darken the day. But, um, and then I want to make this like gray there we go um i think i'm gonna change it green i'm not really liking it blue white there we go and then off-road dealer in a bright shade of gray yeah that looks very bland actually never mind um Oh, yeah, it looks good, actually. So, um, yeah. Let's get into customizing all of the cars now. Um, okay, so the first one we're going to customize is the Tesla Cybertruck. Let's go over to my cars. Okay. Okay, there we go. Um... First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this bad boy. Yes. It looks kind of strange an extra lift actually. Never mind. Um, I am gonna change those wheels though because those wheels are hideous. Let's see what they have here. Um. Those wheels somehow look good. I don't know why. But now we're going to get to the coloring. Hmm. I feel like the body kind of has to be a dark gray. Yep, Cybertruck gray, I'm going to call it. <laughs> um, wheels, that can, they can say that color. Calipers, I'm going to make red. Just because. Okay. And we're going to fit our beefy, obviously, off-road tires on here. Okay. Let's head on to the next car. Tell me what you think of it. my modified Tesla. My next one's my GMC. I kind of already modified it. And I really like the way I did it. So I'm just going to leave that that way. Um, I'm going to do this G-Wagon. Okay, so, um, right now, um, hmm. oh, come on, move you dumbass. I forgot the Mercedes brand name. Oops. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? I'm in the wrong thing. Oops. So we'll go to cars actually. Okay, we're just gonna scroll down a tiny bit. Hello. Where is this car? 
car. Okay, it's not up there. Obviously. Did I just... Is the car missing? I wonder. Because I don't see it nowhere. Tell me if you guys see this. Because I... I'm... My head's not... My head's not processing this. Yeesh. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. You know what? I'm gonna go to the next car. I'll come back to this later. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this right now. I'll come back to that later. So. This is. A, we just passed it. Okay, so I'm gonna change colors on this first. Body. I wanna make something like pop. The orange is fire, I guess. That orange actually makes it look kinda old though. Yellow makes it pop a lot. Um, wheels, I'm gonna make those black. Those actually look really sick, the wheels that are already on there. Even calipers can stay the color they are. And, obviously, we're going to add some beefy off-road tires for the off-road looking. And, that's about all for that. Really, it looks good, not going to lie. And now, the Mercedes, actually, I'm not going to lie, I actually like the look of that. So, even if I can't find it, you guys can say in the comments that I can't find it, and that's why I'm not customizing it. But it actually looks good, not going to lie. Um... Oh, why am I doing this? Why? Okay. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna look up Tesmo again. Yes. Okay. Um. Here we go. So I just want to make this whole entire thing. This. <laughs> I mean, I actually like the stance it's at. So nah. Um. Are you kidding me? Get that here, Ed. Yes. Get out of here. What? <laughs> okay. There we go. And now, um, I just want to make it, uh, hmm. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. Um, hmm. I actually like that. Okay. Interior. Black. Okay, there we go. With that, okay, my cyber quad's done. Now let's head on to the next vehicle, which is the Toyota Tomoka. Now I actually like how that's made, so I guess we're on the next one, which is the Ford Bronco. Now, this is stock, so I'm gonna modify it. Um, let's see, it shouldn't be that high up there. Aha. Okay, so... For the color scheme, I've always loved this gen of Bronco, and like it looks so good in blue. Not gonna lie, um, don't ask me why those rims are blue; those belong black. And then um, calipers, I'm gonna make those red. Yes, okay, that's about it. Except for I just want to add the beefy off-road tires. Yes, sir. Okay, those are clean. Okay, that's a good build right there in my opinion. Now let's head on to the next one. Polaris ATV I really like. And I guess this, this I kept white because of the Christmas event. I, I like the way it looks. Um, Yeah, but here's my dealer. Um, Tell me what you guys think of it in the comments. Um, Yeah. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.